Hey beautiful people, welcome to my show for today. It's Monique Bradley here. If we haven't met before, kia ora, welcome. I'm here in Auckland in New Zealand and I am absolutely obsessed with makeup. I've had a 40 year, 40 year? Nearly a 35 year, I should say, love affair with makeup. And um, more, even more recently, I qualified as a professional makeup artist, which is super exciting. For me, makeup was always about the opportunity of transformation. So my background is theater, film, television. And for me, being able to put on some makeup and completely change the way I look or really create a look that is, is kind of, I guess, a picture of how I feel on the inside, whether I want to let out my inner drama queen or whether I want to create a look which is peaceful and calming or natural, whatever look I want to create, I've been able to do that every day with makeup and I've pretty much worn it every day since I was 10 years of age so that gives you an idea of how old I am yes that's right I'm 45 years old and I'm super excited because today is a product I'm really passionate about it's a product that I actually scoured the globe to find and it's a product I use every day so when it comes to makeup there's particular things I do the first thing I'd recommend is always start with really good skincare because there's nothing worse than going to paint on a canvas which has already got things going on it on with it. You want a nice clean canvas first. So one of the products I have to, I absolutely recommend that I use every day are the products from Kathy Organics because they're natural, they're lovely, they're nice, they're not tested on animals, no nasties. And it means that when you come to put on your makeup, you're going to have a really good base to start with. So shout out to the wonderful people at Kathy Organics. I love you guys. And then when it comes to your lips, lips and eyes are really the two big features of your face, right? So when people look at you and they want to communicate with you, they normally make eye to eye contact with you guys. So you'll notice I'm staring directly at you guys, even though I can see my newsfeed down here, there's heaps of people saying hello to me. In the newsfeed, I'm trying to stay in eye contact with you. The other part of the face that they look at is your lips. And that's because that's where you're talking from. So the eyes kind of, they give off, from an acting perspective, eyes in your body will often give off the subtext of what we say, so the, the inference or the meaning, but it's the lips that do the talking. And the lips come in all different shapes and sizes. And for some of you, like me, my lips are kind of medium sized to smaller so I don't really want to make my lips my feature unless I'm going for absolute drama so when I want to go for absolute drama I will often go for a really bright powerful color and if my eyes are going to be the feature of my makeup look then I will go for something neutral and today I'm actually going to show you four different makeup looks that I've created to share with you guys that feature some of these lip paints so first of all, the reason why I love them, oh hi Tony Nerang, hi Karina Homa, good to see you. The reason why I love them, these products are absolutely insane. So they're completely matte. And what that means is when you put it on your skin, so this is my new favorite color, this is number nine. And Corinna, I can actually see you in this color. This is a you kind of color. This is a really vibrant pink color. What's great is these are very matte. So when you put them on your face, you don't get that feathering around the lips so they don't bleed, which is amazing, particularly as we get older. Lipstick has a tendency to bleed, so you've got to look at doing things like adding more foundation on the lips or maybe using a really strong lip liner or a sealer that's going to seal in the lips at the outer edge. With this, you don't need to. The great thing about it too is that you don't need to use a lip liner with this product unless you want to use a lip liner for effect. So it's going to save you a little bit more time in the morning. But what's even better is these dry, like a little bit's come off there, but these actually dry so matte that once you put it on in the morning, it'll last for ages. So for those of you who are like me, who drink 10 million cups of tea like I do, you're not going to drink your lipstick off as well. So it really is quite fantastic. It's long wearing. And if you don't like that feel of a matte lip paint on your lips, what is really great is you can add a teeny tiny little bit of gloss in the middle to give you a little bit of glow and you'll end up with a really beautiful look to your lips. So yeah, you can see here on my table, there's a, it comes in a bunch of different colors. There's actually 12 different colors. And I'm gonna show you really quickly what it looks like on my skin. Hi Talia, good to see you. Oh, what's your comment? You have great big beautiful eyes. Oh, stop it Talia, keep going, stop it, but keep going. Thank you, that's really kind of you. Oh my God, Talia, how beautiful are you and how amazing are your photos for, is it Miss Elite Global? You're in that pageant. Um, write in the news feed what the pageant is because hopefully we can get lots of people to like your page. Okay, so I'm gonna put this beautiful bright pink on. This is number 09, I love it. This is the color, if you saw my Instagram photo earlier today, this is the color I'm actually wearing in my Instagram photo. So you see there, so let me just see if I can turn it around. Yes, it's 09, 
there you go so if you want a pop of pizzazz this is a great color for you so the first thing i would always do is if you wear pigment powder i would always pat down my lips first of all and as i mentioned you don't need to use uh, a lip liner with these either you literally just paint them onto your lips and i just think it's absolutely wonderful shout out to everybody watching hi tony naran good to see you honey right here we go oh yeah look at that i love this color by the way i love it oh yeah So no lip, lip liner there, just the paint straight onto my lips. Oh yeah, that looks great. I love this color. This is my new favorite. I can't talk as much while I'm doing this. I feel, I feel weird not being able to talk. Oh yeah. Okay, there it is. No lip liner, just a whole lot of color. And the great thing is that will dry. And as I said, once you've done it, afterwards, like no color comes off, which is really amazing. So it's even kiss proof. I have tested it by the way. So you can literally put it on and you can touch it. So it takes a few seconds to dry there we go. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Can you see my arm? I have to turn the other way. There we go. Oh, I've put it on the wrong part of my arm. I'll put it there. And you literally can tap on top and the color pigment doesn't come off. So it's really hard wearing and it's great because it does set like a paint on your lips and it lasts for ages. So if you've ever been to some of the other makeup brands, I shall not mention them, but they do have lip paints and a tube and everything. They're great, but unless you have a lip a lip brush to go with it you've just got this little tube of paint whereas what you actually want is something like this because it's got a wand inside so it's like putting on a lip gloss but at the same time it's going to dry like a, a, a lip paint for me particularly I'm 45 years old I'm noticing a lot of really creamy lipsticks start to bleed on my lips and I don't want that I want something that's going to sit there and it's going to last for ages but the cool thing is if you don't feel as I've mentioned if you don't feel like um, you you don't like that drier feeling on your lips you just add a teeny tiny bit of gloss put it on and boom your lips stay hydrated and lovely and that color's not going to run anywhere oh yeah in fact, one of the things that um, my beautiful beauty therapist, Romina from Argentina, suggested is you could actually use a tiny little bit of coconut oil on top if you want a slightly glossier look, but it's going to hydrate your lips at the same time. Super, super cool product. So the range itself comes from, it comes in a range, oh, I better get the right one, comes in a range of really light colors. So if you like that kind of gray, slightly dramatic, little bit mushroomy kind of look, it comes in that look. It's a cool tone, that look, the mushroom look. So you can see there, quite cool toned. I'm warm toned in my skin, so that does look quite cool. And the most popular colors, I have to tell you, and this is actually the one that I wear every day. This is a neutral shade. This is number 11 right here, and it works on warm tone and cool tone skin. So it's kind of a rosy pink, really, really popular, super cool. And the other color that's been super popular as well, this is number three. Check out the drama here. So when I'm doing something on camera and I or being photographed and I want a super deep rich color, that's the color I go for. So you can see there a really deep, deep rich red. It's slightly cooler based as well. Absolutely brilliant because it doesn't go anywhere. And if you've ever worn red lipstick, you'll know, number one, it stains your skin. Number two, it ends up everywhere. It can end up on your teeth. This stuff literally sits on your skin like a paint on top of your skin, but it will sit there and it will literally last for hours. So I, the reason why I'm doing today's live stream as well is so many people have been messaging me, asking me about the lip paint. So I thought, well, look, I'll show you in real time what they're actually like. I absolutely adore them. They can completely transform your look 
And the cool part is that the prices are really good and you can get them directly from my website. So we'll have a quick look at the prices right now so you can get an idea of what the investment is. Now, if you've been anywhere else, and I won't, again, I won't mention uh, makeup names, but the first lip paint I actually bought was $35. That was about nine years ago. So check out this price in comparison. Look at that. You can get one from my website just ten dollars up to three twenty seven dollars and six for forty eight let me just go through that again one for ten three for twenty seven and six for forty eight and you can see look there's all 12 colors there from number one through to number six which you've just seen on my skin um, through to that number 11 which is my most popular number nine which is my absolute new favorite or that really deep rich kind of plummy looking one there um, the redder version is number four and the deeper darker slightly more purpley version is number three which is truly amazing so uh, Talia you like that um, you, oh, thank you so much for your kind comments. Oh, that's so cool. Um, thank you for liking and loving my videos, Talia. I really appreciate that. And you like the dark red sort of purple color. It is really nice, right? It's actually been super, super popular as well. So I've put together four suggestions of makeup looks that I wanted to share with you guys. And depending on what your personal preference is and what sort of look you want to create, I've paired up the right look with the right lip paint just for you. I'm going to take this lip color off so I can show you another one. All right, let's take a look at the screen graphic now. If you like that no makeup look, what I'd highly recommend is you go for a really good BB cream with a really light coverage and then add maybe or maybe go for a pigment powder. Pigment powders are great because they allow your skin to breathe. I would always, always go for mascara. It's the one thing I can't live without. And if you want to go for a natural looking lip paint, go for number 10 or number 11. Hi Tarati Virko, I hope I said that. I'm Mahi Narangi. Hello, I hope I said that right too. Okay, if you want to go for positive pizzazz, which is kind of the look I'm going for today, you want to wear a pigment powder as your foundation, particularly if you're wearing this in work, you want to go maybe for an, a, a nice pigment powder as a base, but then you want to amp it up with some lash extensions, which is what I've done. So positive pizzazz is kind of my daily look. And then again, I've teamed that up with lip paint number nine. Classic glamour is something that I get asked to do for people all the time. They want slightly smoky, not too much. They're thinking 1940s, 1950s glam. For that, I always like to use a beautiful smoky gray eyeshadow, particularly in the crease of the eye, to give a really vintage look. And I always top that with the black winged eyeliner because who doesn't love that classic rockabilly kind of vintage look? And the deep red lip paint, which is number four, is an absolute must for that. And again, why that number four is great is unlike other red lip paints that end up all over your face, this will stay in place and it will last for ages. And then if you want a celebrity, a little bit of celebrity drama, so we're thinking Kardashians here, we're thinking J-Lo, you want to go hardcore smoky eye, you want to add lots of, lots of browns and in fact deep purples, particularly if you've got hazel eyes like I have, deep purples will make your eyes absolutely pop so go for a smoky eye always go for a liner on the inner lash line or the water line and go for an ombre lip so you might want to start with lip paint number one and then you might want to add a little lip paint number six in the middle so you've got two tones going on super easy okay so taking off your lip paint remember it is quite thick so it will set really well to take off my lip paint I'm actually using Kathy Organic Skin Brightening Cleanser. So this is the cleanser that I use to basically remove all of my makeup every day. It's a cream cleanser. I never ever use a foam cleanser on my skin because my skin's sensitive and I don't want to upset it with detergents or anything like that. So cream cleanser, and this is the one from my bathroom upstairs in fact, I use it daytime and nighttime and you can actually remove your makeup with it. So by using this product, and you can get it from their website kathyorganics.com, you only need one product to remove all of your makeup, which is super handy. So I'm using it to remove my, my uh, lip paint as well. And of course when I do that, I will remove a tiny bit of foundation. To make the product last longer, you definitely want to set your, um, your foundation underneath with, with, by making sure you pat down your lips. And in fact, whoopsie, I am going to powder down with some pigment powder as well, just to create a good base. I don't know why, but I always close one eye when I do this. I think my right eye must have more, more focus than my left. <laughs> Done it for years. 
But again, the reason why I really love this, apart from the fact that it lasts for ages, is the fact that I don't need an additional product. So I don't need to add a lip liner. You know, years and years ago, I didn't even know how to line my lips or, you know how you watch those tutorials on making your lips bigger and things like that. Look, you can do that, but I just don't have time for that in the morning when I'm getting ready. I need to put on something quick and get out the door. And then I wanna know that that lip paint is actually gonna last for a while, that I'm not having to, every five minutes, top it up again, because ain't nobody got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. Oh, hi, T Tarati, you're friends with Talia. Oh, are you in the pageant as well? Um, fantastic, Talia's beautiful. I can't see your picture, but I'm gonna stalk you now as well. Yay, so exciting. Hi, Janine Eastwood as well, lovely to have you watching. It's nice to see you guys all pop in and out of my streams over, over the times, it's really great to have you here. Okay, so if I'm gonna go for something really dramatic, the best version, uh, the best color I've found for drama has to be, that deep rich red color. So there's been a few times where I've been photographed with that color on and I've gone for really neutral minimal eyes because I really want that color in particular to pop. So here we go. Lips are primed. So all I've done is put a pigment powder over my lips to create a neutral canvas. And where is my lip paint? Okay, so here it is. This is number four that I'm showing you. This is a deep kind of plummy red. It's slightly blue based. This is unbelievably cool. By the way, if you've just joined the stream, kia ora, I'm Monique Bradley. Welcome to my live stream. This is Beauty Fix. I do this every Thursday where I get to showcase products that I've personally looked for from around the world or companies that I love and adore and I really want to shout their praises because these are products I'm using every day. As, as I've mentioned, I'm, I use the products from Kathy Organics. In my hand, this is my um, bronzing compact from Natural Glow. I love Natural Glow. I've used it since I was a teenager and I'm still using it. It's amazing. Okay, so here we go. Red, deep red lip paint. Oh yeah. This is absolute drama, I love it. Oh yeah. So dramatic. And the thing is that red in particular can be so fickle to work with. As a makeup artist, I've used it on people for years and they all want that beautiful, you know, that rich red pout, but it can be so hard to work with. Whereas this, you've got so much control with it. Oh, there you are. You've got so much control with the lip paint. It literally goes where you want it to go and then it stays there. And I like using the wand as well. The wand is so much easier for me than using a brush. Oh yeah. Oh, that's lovely. So good. I feel so weird not, not talking to you guys as well every time I'm doing this because I have to go quiet. Oh yeah, this is great. And the cog thing is, the same product is my lip liner as well. Amazing, like literally amazing. So I don't need a whole bunch of extra products in my makeup kit. One product works as your lip liner, your color. It feels really nice on my lips as well. And I love the drama, I mean, look at that. I think it's very 19 kind of 40s kind of vintage looking actually. With my little pout. So you can perfectly line your angel bow as well because you've got the brush, the wand in there, sorry, to, to basically put the product in the, the exact places that you want it. So you have a huge amount of control. I find much more control with this over a brush. And like I said, no lip liner required. And the best part, no product. So as soon as you pop that on there, you give it about oh, 15 seconds to dry and it doesn't kiss off. Let me do that again. Nothing. So that product, well, oh, you can see from before where I put it on. So let me, here we go, clean hand, I'll do it again. Look at that. That's amazing. 
And I don't know about you guys, if you've worn red lipstick, like, you know, half of my life has been spent in professional theatre. And so red lipstick is something we always had to wear for stage. So <laughs> to end up with red lipstick all over your face all the time, um, absolute hassle but this product is so good and whether you're going for something like you know the mushroomy color or the bright pink or the or the gorgeous sort of apricot -y, neutral rosy pink shade or that bright red you've got so many colors in fact there's 12 colors in the range that you can have a look through they all deliver and they last for absolutely ages so I believe this morning I put on the beautiful bright pink and I went and did my photo for Instagram which I do try to update Instagram every day and then I had a coffee and then I had two cups of tea and then I drank a bowl of miso soup from a, or from a cup. And then I realized just before I went live, so that was four and a half hours, that it was time to top up my lip paint. Four and a half hours. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever heard? If it isn't the craziest thing you've ever heard, then I don't know what is. But seriously, four and a half hours it lasted. And I only thought I'd better top it up because I was about to come on camera. And if anything, I actually took the color off. So I had a neutral canvas to work with. So here's your range right here. Whether you're going for something that's really neutral, like down the end here, this is a beautiful kind of coppery color. You've got a beautiful kind of a mulberry dark purple there. This is the, the number I've got on right now. You've got a gorgeous copper shade. You've got a very light tone here in the middle, um, a beautiful neutral, slightly pinkish. So if you are maybe slightly darker skinned, but you want a light natural pink, that's a really good color for you. That is number seven right there. We've got some gorgeous coppers in the range. This is the bright pink that I had on earlier. Earlier. Number 11 right here is our most popular number. It's a very neutral rose pink, which suits pretty much every, every face color you can imagine. Hi, Olivia Garrity. Good to see you on the, um, on the stream, Nice. And then that's your uh, final one there, number 12. So amazing. The prices are from uh, one for $10, three for 27 or six for 48. They ship directly to you as well, which is amazing. But the best part is it'll last for ages. For you pageant girls in particular, they will last for a long time. So you know how you have to put on a lip paint and you have to be, and you don't want to be topping up your makeup all the time. This will last for ages. And if you don't like that matte feeling, you can pop a little bit of gloss on the top just to, to add to it. And the great thing is none of that lip paint is going to bleed. It's going to stay all in one place all at the same time. So it is absolutely magnificent. So even now I've put these shades on here. Look at that. That's what I love about it. You know, I can rub like that and none of, none of it comes off at all. It's really quite amazing. So it's the sort of product that will last for ages. In fact, I know some people who have got teenage daughters and they've, they've even bought it for themselves and their teenage daughter at the same time because they love the product. Oh, shout out Sophia LaGrice. Good to see you on the, um, on the stream as well. Oh, Talia, you think it's a great price? I know, I thought it was a great price. And in fact, two other makeup artists have actually bought complete sets of all 12 colors off me because when they tried them here in the studio, they tried them on their own skin. They put the full color range down their arm and, and went, wow, there's such a variety of color. They could see the potential in the product. And for me, look, you know, these are products that I love. These are products that I'm using every day. And I really want to be able to share that with you guys. I've tried probably... 12 different product ranges to find out which one was the best and this is the one that I can hand on heart say I use it every day whether I'm dressing up or dressing down particularly number 11 like I said is the the go-to one that I want every that I wear every day um, number nine which is my new one at the moment um, that's the one that I've just been wearing in Instagram today uh, gives you a beautiful bright um, pop of pizzazz so if you want to go um, one look I saw on a girl a, a number of years ago was she had this color on her lips and she had a really beautiful bronzy looking rosy looking cheeks no eyes just really loads and loads of mascara and she just looked a million dollars it was just such a baby doll kind of look on her face so depending on what kind of look you want whether you want a little bit of drama whether you want pizzazz whether you want kind of that Kardashian celebrity look all of these paints are designed to stay in place for longer and the best part is they don't kiss off they last and they feel really nice on your skin there's your prices all you need to do is head to my website monikebradley.tv and you can have a look at the products there and I, in fact there's an old line 
five, which I should share on the on share with you guys as well, which shows me and my partner Pete's daughter. She's 13 years old, and we went through the entire color range on camera. She's a different skin tone from me, and we were able to see which colors really worked well. Most of these have a neutral color base, so they suit pretty much every skin shade. We'll take a look at those colors there. So whether you want something like number one, which is actually quite a deep brown color, number two there, a beautiful, gorgeous, slightly coppery shade. Number three is actually a very deep dark plum color. Number four is the bright, uh, the deep red I'm wearing right now. Number five is another gorgeous coppery shade. Number six there is a beautiful mushroom color, which I absolutely love, really good if you wanna get that ombre lip color. That's your lighter color of the range. Number seven there, again, another gorgeous, slightly pinky color, really good for lighter, uh, for darker skinned people who want a, a really nice pop of slightly pinky but not too intense color. Number eight there, a really gorgeous coppery shade. So we really are trying to get those coppers in there for all of, all of those of you who might be slightly warmer toned. Number nine, my absolute favorite at the moment, that real pop of pizzazz. Uh, number 10 there, a gorgeous neutral shade. Again, a really nice light, neutral, everyday kind of color. 11, which has been my top seller, a beautiful, gorgeous, rosy pink color, a really traditional kind of look. Absolutely beautiful. And then number 12 on the very end. Again, a lovely light color, but really good for every day. So in that photo, I'm actually wearing number four. So that's what I look like with number four and basically only a tiny little bit of eyeliner and I have lash extensions on from Paula from uh, Evelyn Rose Lashes. So there you go, those are my lip paints. I'd love you to check them out. I'd also love you if you want to um, have a, get your hands on some of the makeup remover that I use. Again, I use a cream makeup remover. It's a skin brightening cleanser from Kathy Organics. It lasts for absolutely ages. And when you're dealing with big pigment stuff like lip paint, when you're dealing with eye color like bright greens and bright blues that have a lot of color pigment, often your skin can be stained with that color pigment. So the bright cleansing lotion really helps remove that color and it doesn't irritate the skin. The great thing is if you use it on your face as well, it will leave your skin looking brighter from the first wash, which is amazing. I absolutely love it. I also do want to say a big shout out to the wonderful people from Natural Glow and Radi Essence. They are my bronzer and my, um, my what I use for chisel actually. So Natural Glow, their compact is what I use to chisel my cheeks and under my chin as well. Really great product. I've been using Natural Glow since I was a teenager. So a big shout out to them as well. This is something that I really, oh, you can see the camera there as well. <laughs> I really love this. This is a wonderful compact. I highly recommend everybody gets their hand on it. Um, I was using that for my mirror today, which is fantastic. But yeah, get your hands on some lip paints. These products last for ages. So I know some people who've been obsessed, that particularly they've been using number 11 and they've been reapplying it. They use it probably twice a day because that's all you kind of need. And it's lasted for a long time. So check it out. And um, yeah, head to kathyorganics.com because we love their products too. All right, before I go today, a final look at those four signature looks using my amazing lip paint. We'll bring that screen up for you. Here we go. Okay, so if you want a classic no-look makeup, I highly recommend you grab a BB cream and some pigment powder as your base. Always, always, always mascara. It defines the eyes, but it won't overwhelm your face. It will just give you a little bit of definition. You want to go for a natural lip paint, and I highly recommend in the range in number 10 or number 11. Suits every skin color as well, which is great. If you want a bit of what I've had going on in Instagram today, go for the positive pizzazz look. I use a, I love to use a pigment powder as my foundation. I think it gives you a really nice coverage without kind of, you know, without kind of blocking up your pores and everything. It allows your skin to breathe. I've gone for lash extensions because I want to save more time in the morning. And I use lip paint number nine, which is that gorgeous, vibrant pink color. And it enables me to give, a, basically air my personality out through my face. <laughs> If you are going for a classic glam look, which is a bit more of what I've got going on right now with the lip paint I've got on, you want to go for something like a classic grey eyeshadow, a really gorgeous liquid liner, black winged liner is always amazing. And I'm wearing the deep red lip paint, which is number four. And then if you love that look of Jennifer Lopez or the Kardashians or something like that, smoky eye all the way, baby. You want to go smoky. Think of those warm tones around the eyes, lots of blacks, lots of browns, even consider using a deep purple or a plum. 
and you want to ombre your lips and that basically means you use two colors so you put on a complete coat of say number one as your main base color which is quite a deep deep dark color and then you want to create that ombre by painting on some number six which is a much lighter color in the middle and that will give you that gorgeous ombre li lip look that you see in the magazines. So speaking of ombre, here are the two colors right here. So you can see a real difference in the color. We've got the number one, which is the deep, deep brown color. Really beautiful color. It is a very dark chocolatey brown. And then you're gonna add that nice, um, kind of slightly mushroomy color in the center of the lips and then you want to blend it out you can do the whole lot using the wand that's inside the container so it really is super easy it really is and details right there i mean how easy does it get i love them i never ever talk about anything in these live streams that i have never personally tested i will never do that to you guys Everything hand on heart, I personally test for a number of months before I ever go on camera to talk about it. And I always, always only refer you to websites which are good websites that I trust or products that I personally trust, hand on heart, believe in. So Kathy Organics, not tested on animals, no nasties, no parabens, no sulfites, nothing that is going to ever harm your skin. Shout out to Natural Glow, who is a, an institution here in New Zealand. They've been around for gosh, 20 odd years, maybe longer. I was using them in my teens, so 30 years. So big shout out and thanks to them. And get your hands on these lip paints. I love them, they're amazing. Every, the whole world needs them. All right, I've got to head away. So a big thank you to um, Mr. Pete Ward. He is my producer and director for these live streams. Uh, I couldn't do it without him, he's that online guy. If you want to do something like this and you want to have your own web TV show, you need to talk to Pete. Hunter Mountain and social media, Hunter Mountain Facebook. Oh, and by the way too, this amazing makeup case is also on my website. So if you love the look of having a gorgeous makeup case to hold all your lovely pieces, you need something like this. Again, head to my website, moniquebradley.tv. Unbelievable. This goes everywhere with me, even when I'm touring on the road. You can see it's a bit of a mess at the moment. When I'm touring on the road, when I'm characters, when I'm singing, all that sort of thing, when I'm doing presentations, I take a bag and I take my makeup kit. <laughs> I love it. And it comes in a couple of colors too. But yeah, have a look at my website, moniquebradley.tv. That's where all the magic happens. All right, time for me to head away. Thank you so much for hopping onto um, this live stream today. I really love chatting with you guys. Thanks for all your positive feedback. Thank you so much for supporting all my posts. And if you've got products that you'd love me to find for you, or if you've got some beauty questions, maybe you've got some health questions. On Mondays, we talk about health. Tuesdays, we always talk about style and fashion. So if you need some help with that, I've got access to amazing industry professionals to help you. Wednesday is all about food and wellness. So if you want help with that, check out my live streams on a Wednesday. Thursday is always about skincare and beauty products. So if you want to know more, hit me up through Facebook, send me a message, or you can go to my website, moniquebradley.tv, send me an email, sign up for my mailing list, and let's keep in touch. All right, time for me to go. Have a great afternoon, and I'll see you soon. Bye.